If you guys want to buy some cheap and reliable coins, check out fifacoinzone.com. Support my channel by using the link in the description. Hey, what's up guys? It's S2G and welcome back to another episode of my PSG career mount series. In the last episode, I asked you guys which centre-backs should I sign and you guys gave loads of suggestions and these are a few of them. Jeremy Boateng is one of them, so we're going to be offering 30 million and David Luiz for him because I know he's worth it. We all know how good Jeremy Boateng is. I think he's got 85 pace, which is just amazing. And the next player is Diego Godin. Now, this guy was not as popular as... Boateng but Golden is a fantastic center back and the age doesn't matter guys because this is the last season it's not probably the last season it is the last season there's no way I'm continuing this series because you guys want a new series which is a road to glory career mode a Porto career mode there's so many options that we'll discuss about that later anyways as you can see I'm offering David Luiz and 8 million for both Golden and Benedict Howard is uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyways, also for Socrates, I'm offering the same amount of money. I'm not sure whether they, it will be accepted or not, but what's the harm in trying? And obviously, we do have games in this episode. I'll be showing you guys which games we'll be having in this episode. Some interesting games. Obviously, my form in the transfer window is usually pathetic. I hope it's not the same this time. We have a game against Nantes, then against AS Monaco, and then a game in the Copa Nationale. And as you can see, the game against Nantes, I'm switching. I'm using basically my first team with some players sitting out like Marco Royce because I really want to give Philippe Anderson the go and as you can see we are playing at the Parc des Princes I fancy myself in this game because it is at home against Nantes who are not that great of a side obviously no disrespect to them they're a good side but we just have too good too many good players and as you can see the 15 minutes of the game Philippe Anderson plays in a wonderful cross drills the cross down to Lucas who you know finishes it with these that was a very good finish from Lucas with his left foot I think and now they have a chance here through a free kick as the ball is played in, but the guy who took the header on was very poor. That was a very poor header. He really should have scored from that. But as you can see in the 22nd minute, Zlatan Ibrahimovic completely turns the defender, shoots from at least 30 yards and scores. What a goal from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now you guys wouldn't have seen it on you know, the screen, but there was so much movement on this shot. Just look at that. Zlatan completely destroys the defender by turning him. And that shot was just fabulous from Zlatan Ibrahimovic to get his 8th goal in the league. And as you can see, we have another chance in the 45th minute. A ball is played to Lucas. He has tons of space. It's still Lucas. He plays it to Yaya Toure. Yaya Toure shoots his shot is blocked. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic with a clear chance to score. But his header is somehow saved by the keeper. But now Zlatan has another chance. 55th minute. Zlatan shoots. His shot hits the post and goes in. What a goal by Zlatan Ibrahimovic wonderful stuff from one of the best players in the world probably the best striker in the game currently and just wonderful work from Zlatan Ibrahimovic to get his ninth goal in the league and that's basically the end of this game Zlatan inspired us to a victory in this game with this fantastic shooting and yeah he, he had a shooting boot today and as you can see I have included Mehdi Benatia also in the shortlist he was a late entrant in the suggestions so I am including him and I'm going to be offering 10 million and David Luiz simply because he's better than the rest of the defenders. So not 8 but 10 million. Yeah, so I hope all these players are accepted. And after that, I'll give you guys a short straw poll down in the comments below. No, I think, yeah, description below. And you guys can decide on which player to sign. And now we have a game against AS Monaco. Now we all know how good side they are. And we haven't managed to beat them this season, I think. I, I think we probably beat them in the uh, Coupa Nationale. Uh, no, I'm not sure, but... Anyways, the last game we played them was in the December, in December, and we did lose that. And basically, guys, nothing happened till halftime, and we decided to make a few changes. And then the game, you know, came alive. They had a very good chance, and I honestly thought that went in, but luckily for us, it was just wide. Now, it's really good chances for them, and I think they have another chance. Ball is played to Jeremy Tulalan, who tries to, you know, play it back to Luis Adriano, who somehow gets the header, who shoots, but his shot hits the bar. Now, they, they these guys were the better side in this game. They created two or three chances. They didn't take them, but they still were better than us, and that's the end of the game, which ends nil-nil. And as you can see, uh, Boateng is out of question. He's too expensive. And then there are four players left. Howard is his offer has been accepted. So we're going to be trying to go for Benatia. We'll, we'll just go for 20 million or, or 17 or 18 like that. But, but anyways, guys, this is the last season, so there isn't any point of saving money. And there's, this is the only position I'm strengthened. And as you can see, I am going for... Medi Benatia, 20 million, and David Luiz. Same for all the other players, including Diego Gordon, 29 years old, but definitely worth it. 
and also Socrates. It's the same amount of money, 20 million. I know I might be overpaying for them, but it really doesn't matter because we. This is the last season, as I've told repeatedly now. So yeah, let's just head on and see what's our next game. It's against U.S. Orleans. I don't know if that's how it's said, but I probably it's that's how it's said. I'm going with my second team because it is in the Copa Nacionale. And definitely I think we can get a good result and progress to the next round of this tournament. And as you can see in the 28th minute, Rabio has a chance to do something as he completely turns the defender, passes it to Matic, Matic passes it to Raheem Sterling, who turns and shoots and scores a wonderful goal. So Raheem Sterling has put us 1-0 up in the 30th minute of this game. Wonderful work from Rabio to back heel it to Matic and Matic is laid off to Sterling and Sterling to shoot and score completely does the keeper. Keeper had no chance in saving that but they do have a chance as soon as they go the goal had been scored and they do manage to score so that was a very neat finish from US Orleans and they have made it one all which isn't a really really a good score because I really don't want to go to extra time or something like that because uh, it just you know lowers the stamina of my players which is not what I need and as you can see the 55th minute we had a very good chance as Philippe Anderson lays the ball off to Raheem Sterling who, who couldn't get the finish on it now if he would have finished that that would be a wonderful goal but in the 52nd 57th minute we had a corner Pjanic put it into Ro Romelu Lukaku and you know what's coming a wonderful ed header from Romelu Lukaku he hasn't been scoring that much but he definitely is influential in set pieces and all because of his height his strength, his pace and all, he's just a wonderful player. And there he gets his first goal in the Copa Nacionale. We do have another chance here as Felipe Anderson trying to, you know, horizontally go past the defence, which is impossible. But he then plays the ball, lays the ball off to Adrian, Adrian Rabio, who shoots and scores with his left foot. So 3-1 in the 62nd minute. Probably that's the goal that seals the tie. But they do have a chance here as they come straight from kickoff as the ball falls to Glombard, who then scores to give them some chance immediately after we scored the goal. So it's 3-2 now. They do have a good chance and this was straight from kickoff. So really poor defending from us. We should have really defended much better and Lombard gets a goal for himself. But basically guys, that's the end of this game. We are progressing to the next round of the Copa Nacionale, which is always good to see, you know, getting more silverware. But now guys, it's time for the main stuff. As you can see, all these players, all the teams have accepted the transfer for, for these players. So we're going to be just going and offering contracts, as you can see. Uh, Diego Godin wants 150k for two years on a crucial first team player role. I'm happy to offer him that. The Socrates wants the same thing, and we're we're gonna be offering him that. And even by even by not by actually, Medi Benatia wants the same. No, he wants 170 actually. Never mind. We'll you know offer him that. We still have ages, even though we have offered all that. And even Havertz, well, no Havertz, yeah, he also wants 150. So really good to see that. All these players are have accepted the tra the transfer offers have been accepted. Now only the contract negotiations are left. And don't forget to vote down on which of these four I should sign, guys. The straw poll will be down in the description below. Vote to you know help me make it easier to decide on which player should I sign, or else I'll have to do it on my own. But I know you guys will vote. And as you can see, I'm removing Jeremy Boateng from the shortlist. And have a look at these the stats of each of these players. Showing you that in a moment. As you can see, Coden, he's got decent pace, 72 pace. But what's important is his defensive stats for him. He's really a good defender. Same with how it is. Not the quickest, but he's got really good jumping, strength, and marking, and all that's fantastic. Socrates looks like a very good all run defender with decent pace. He could be really effective. It's all you, all the, it's all your decision, guys. You guys can decide on which of these I should sign. And don't forget to vote. The link will be in the description below. It's just straw polling. It's very easy to vote. Don't forget to use it. In the next episode, we have games against San Atien and Estac Troye, who we have beaten 6-1 or 5-1. And yeah, one another team which I forgot to see. Anyways, have a look at the league table, guys. We're in first position with 49 points. Apart from that, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in my next video.